Hello, hello, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp, and or Cross Watchers. Hi, you all. Welcome to my channel. I am Tierica Love. How are you all doing? All right, y'all. So it is time for your October forecast, okay? So we're going to take a look into the month of October. I'm going to look at each week here. So we're going to have week one, week two, week three, week four, okay? See what comes up. These will be general messages. If you all are interested in a personal or private read, uh, just go down to the description box below. I do have my email address listed. Also, if you all are active on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, and you would like to check me out um, on my other social media platforms, feel free to just go to any social media and type in Tierica Love, okay? All right, all right. So, uh, Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp, let's get started. Thank you all. Um, if you are new here, welcome again. If you are returning, thank you all for previously, uh, for your likes, subscribe, shares, or comments, okay? All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Week one for Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp. Week two for Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp. Week three in October. And a week four in October. Okay. All right, you all. Let's let's dig a little deeper. So I see the first week here in October. Maybe for someone here you just now um, could be getting over some type of illness here. But if there has been a period of ill health and depression... Um, I do see that your luck is changing with the horseshoe, okay? Uh, the first week of October, I see with the magician how um, you should know you have all the tools that you need to create. Whatever it is that you're wanting to create, uh, what you think is what you create here. As above, so below, and the wheel of fortune. So I do feel like there's going to be a shift. You all are going into a new cycle here, okay? Week two with this financial gain is usually coming from something you did in the past so i do see a raise or a new job opportunity for someone out there that is looking for work here okay i do feel like in week two you're going to be grieving over the loss of something or someone here um and you're kind of going to be having a hard time seeing the positive in the situation i feel like it's a situation where you're being offered something here but um when it comes to solidifying something um that isn't pretty much the case and so we're kind of grieving or it's because someone is still stuck in some type of grievance here okay the third week of october i do feel like there's going to be a bit of misunderstandings here and you're going to have to maybe control yourself control your temper all right yes use your words to kind of get what you want with the strength you have to be patient um and be compassionate towards yourself and others i do feel like in the third week of october um, there is going to be an order with the star. It's all about hope and having hope and faith here, okay? Uh, but I feel like you're going to have to just remember, all right, that or have faith in yourself or just be passionate towards whatever you're going through, okay? Whatever is going to be going on in the second week, all right? Fourth week, you got a secret admirer. So for some of you all, towards the latter part of October, somebody is going to be coming in um, with the Eight of Pentacles, maybe working really hard. Um, you could be learning something new in the fourth week of October. I do see with the Seven of Wands, there could be a bit of a challenge or a situation where um, you're being very uh, defensive here, okay? So... I kind of feel like with this secret admirer, it could be someone that you're not really open. Yeah, to you're not really ready to open up to or towards here. Okay, I feel like there's going to be some confusion and maybe some doubts towards the latter part of October. Let's dig a little deeper here. Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp. First week, the first week in October for Scorpio Sagittarius, because yeah, you're going to be working on healing some things, 
What is wrong with my card? Okay. Doing some shadow work, healing the inner child here, and being determined um, to be ready for this transformation. Okay. This situation could be um, a situation in your family. Uh, it could be a situation with children involved here. Okay. All right, so let's see. Second week, the second week here. Don't let your pride and ego kind of stand in the way. There could be someone watching you in the second week. You could be getting some offers, maybe love offers from this Knight of Cups. Someone who is emotionally going to be driven in the second week of, yep, of October. Okay, I do feel like there's going to be connecting. You two are going to be connecting physically here. Okay, we're going to have offers. Someone is offering and wanting you to be more open to sexually connect, okay? Um, there is some kind of sneaky behavior, though, going on in the second week of October. Let's look more into the third week of October. You're dating here, okay? So, you could be going on out on a date in the third week of October here. Yeah, if you got puppy love and crush. So, for some of you all, you're going to be meeting someone new or someone is finally going to be opening up to express how they feel here. I do feel like there's going to be movement here. You got someone new, okay? So, again, for some in the third week, you're going to be meeting someone new. This person is going to provide you with uh, this comfort, a different type of comfort here, okay? Go fourth week in October. A lot of game plans, a lot of cycles, um, dealing with some a bit of obsessions or addictions here, and some things going on in the shadows that is going to kind of confuse you a bit, okay? All right, so let's end this off with getting you all some advice. Advice for Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp for the month of October for each week. All right, first week in October, advice. Take a chance, okay? You can't grow in your comfort zone. You got to step into the unknown. Trusting God and going for it, taking this leap of faith is what you need to do in the first week of July here, okay? You do have an energetic match. So there is someone here where you're dealing with somebody. Um, this is your energetic match. Two birds seem sweeter than one, okay? All right, second week, what advice do we have? Do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into your love life here. Somebody's coming in with some type of apology in the second week of October um, because they're having some, a lot of obsessive thoughts here. Uh, we have to work on forgiveness, okay? All right, forgiving yourself or another will help you too to move forward here. I do see a past life love. Someone from the past possibly is coming in to return. Uh, be patient the third week in October. Why well, I keep saying July? Did I say July? Uh, July could be a significant month for somebody here, okay? But everything will unfold in divine timing, all right? Uh, let's take care of the emotional baggage, which may seem to be running the show. You got to retrain the internal so the external can change, okay? Fourth week in October, you got this divine masculine energy here who is secretly yearning for you all, but the timing is not quite right. You got to get out of your head and into your heart is where you're going to find the truth here. All right. And trust. Okay. It is safe for you to trust in this situation. All right. All right. So that is a look into October. I really hope that will be helpful. Thank you all so much for your likes, subscribe, shares, comments. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you beautiful people next time. Bye.